we thought uh, in the fall the pharmaceuticals went down to way too much. So that's why we made the bet. And, and the bet was predominantly, was probably Allegan, leaned Allegan. Mm -hmm. And the reason it leaned Allegan is, um, you know, I was watching Squawk Box and I saw the Botox job that happened on Joe and I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. And I thought I should buy the suck. No. Don't make me laugh. <laughs> if it make me laugh, my forehead will rip. I, like, I right see down that. I see yeah. that. Anyways, um, no, so, no, listen, these stocks got fairly cheaper, particularly Allegan, which we actually, uh, we actually had owned a, a large amount of a company. We controlled a company before that we sold to Allegan that did Juvederm and, and breast implants. So we've known um, that space for a long time, and I think it's like 40% of their business is not affected by uh, 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 um, regulation, that part of the business, uh, the aesthetics business. So we thought that part of the business getting you know, taken down with everything else was just absolutely crazy. So that was uh, the, you know, the bulk of our position was there. Um, and you know, the, the multiples were too low, and they put, for some reason, because it was tied in, somehow with the Valiant, you know, the nonsense with Valiant, I'll just say it that way. Um, it always gets kind of fallen when those stocks get hit. I don't know why, it's kind of crazy, but it does. Um, so, um, yeah, so we, you know, we bought that, the stock's up a bit here, so, you know, we still own, a, you know, quite a bit of it. I was going to say, have you changed your position because you were talking about some of it in the past tense. Have you sold some of that position? We have probably 80% of our position still to say, you know, we won't own the same 80 percent of the position we had at, okay. uh, you know. So you've sold off some of it. Yeah, we, you know, not to have, I think we, we bought it at like 190s, it got up into, you know, 240s. Mm -hmm. Not to sell some of it, that's just managing our book. So, I mean, if it went up higher, we'd sell more. If it went to 500, I wouldn't own a share. It's not going to, I'm not suggesting it's going to 500, so no headlines, please, on that. But I'm just saying that it's just the way you manage a book. You know, whenever it is, you're supposed to, you know, not own the same amount. You know, so it's actually interesting. I don't know if we actually own, we may own the same dollar amount as we did before. Just smaller number of shares because so, the Smaller number of shares because the stock's up 20%. So we probably own pretty close to the same dollar amount. So it's actually kind of interesting in that respect. How about for Teva? I mean, it's an interesting turn of events, maybe since your position was taken. The yeah, CEO's no, gone. that, that. Patent listen, uh, ruling we, against you know what, uh, Paxone, the MX, MS drug. I don't know. Can you say screwed the pooch on the uh, position? Um, you just did. Yeah, that, that would be, yeah. So anyways, that was, said that before. Teva was not the best position, We, you know, uh, when we took it. I think, um, listen, well, you, know, you may ask me about this. Some of that may relate to border adjustment and how that company might be affected, perceived affected on, on border adjustment. Some of that might be the Teva execution. Well, the patent and, and, and some, right? the, the patent yeah. and also just general competition. So, um, listen, Teva looks pretty cheap right now. Um, you know, I, I go back and forth on Teva to tell you the truth. Some days I say it's really cheap, I should buy more. And some days I don't know why the heck I look at it on my book, you know, to be quite honest. But, uh, you know, listen, we, it was not the best position we took. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.